Hey guys, what's up? This is Ginza and I'm going to be taking over Beauty Hook Snapchat for today. Okay guys, so uh, like I said, my name is Kinza and uh, my Instagram is kinza.h so you guys can go ahead and follow me there if you like. Um, so, um, so guys, let's start with the topic. Um, by oral hygiene, what I want to actually uh, let you guys know, it means that taking care of your gums and your teeth. And uh, while that is very necessary, um, you need to have the proper tools and the information so that you can uh, go forward with it uh, in the right manner. Okay, so as you all know, the most important thing when it comes to taking care of your teeth is brush and toothpaste. So let's start with brushes first. So there's not a lot I can tell you about brushing teeth but um, the main thing that you really need to know is that your brushes should not be hard bristled and they should be changed every three to four months as um, if the brushes are too hard they're actually gonna damage your gums and you're gonna have bleeding gums and just more chances of having a periodontal disease and you don't want that okay so the second thing about the brushes is that that almost all brushes these days come with a tongue cleaner on the back like this one or you can get a tongue cleaner separately if you like and that is something very important because if you cleaned your teeth and your tongue at the same time you're gonna have way less chances of having bad breath issues so that's very important okay so the second thing that I'm going to be discussing with you guys is toothpaste and for that there is no specific to brand that you need to use i prefer sensodyne myself because it's easily available all over the world and it's a very um i mean it's it has a good fluoride content and that is something that's very important when you're looking for um, a toothpaste so i would recommend using this also you want to brush your teeth twice a day and you want to make sure that you brush your teeth at least after every meal so that you can avoid any cavities in the future okay so the next thing that i'm going to be talking about is floss so flossing is actually a very important part of your uh, oral hygiene and something that is very highly neglected and it is the number one cause of gum diseases because people really don't bother to floss at all and that is something that needs to be addressed okay so the main advantage of actually flossing is that once you floss um, you're removing all the particles between the interdental spaces and you'll have less bleeding gums you'll have less build up you have healthy gum and then uh, this way you have very few chances of having a periodontal disease because treating that can be very expensive and then you actually have to go to a dentist and get that treated so you don't want that next thing that you actually need to do is listerine or you know a mouthwash i like to use this brand and um the basic reason that you want to use mouthwash is a get rid of any um bacteria that's in your mouth and secondly to have a fresher breath or you know in other words avoid bad breath. also i forgot to mention you don't want to use uh mouthwashes excessively because uh they can cause staining and that's not something that you would want so don't use it excessively that's something that's very important and the last thing that you have to follow is a balanced diet because if you have a balanced diet then you'll have a, a very healthy gums and your teeth won't decay but if it's the other way around and if you have a very sugary diet then there'll be more acid production and that will actually erode your enamel and you'll have more chances of cavities being formed so that is very important to have a very healthy and a balanced diet and uh, when i say balanced diet what i'm actually trying to say is have more fruits more grains more vegetables avoid snacking between meals and the most important thing is that don't take any sugary food that will be staying in your mouth for a longer period of time because it'll damage your teeth more like candy that sticks to your teeth you don't want to actually expose your teeth to that so that is very important and most important thing be sure to visit your dentist at least twice a year that's very important okay so i don't want to bore you guys anymore but before i go i'm just gonna give you guys a diy teeth whitening treatment you can do at home and it'll actually help whiten your teeth and make your smile a bit more brighter than it already is
Okay, so for this DIY, it's very simple. Uh, you just need two ingredients and that's apple cider vinegar and baking soda, not powder, baking soda. Um, so for this, what you have to do is mix two parts apple cider vinegar with a one part baking soda, mix it up in a bowl, use your toothbrush and just brush it on your teeth, leave it for 30 seconds and then rinse. Repeat this at least one to two times a week and over at least uh, a month or so you will definitely see results and your teeth will be much brighter than before. So if you guys have any questions about oral hygiene or anything else, you guys can uh, send me a DM at my Instagram page and in the next snap I'll be sure to put my um, Instagram name so that you guys can send me messages or follow me if you like. Hope you guys have a great day and take care of your teeth and have a bright smile. Bye guys.